Today was the first day of school for students at Jackson Milton Schools to prepare for the start of the year. Nearly 50 employees went through CPR training. First News reporter Alex George was at that training and explains why the district requires their non-certified staff to participate. Several years ago, we had a custodian that had a heart attack in the evening and he was here and there was only one other person available and luckily that person knew CPR. The custodian survived and still works in the building today. I think that uh, he wouldn't be with us if uh, we didn't have it. After that incident, the superintendent decided everyone in the district needed to know CPR and this is the eighth year of the training. Nearly 50 staff members spent the morning learning the basics of what to do if someone goes into cardiac arrest and how to recognize it. The survivability rates of a person if they go in cardiac arrest, if they don't receive CPR, their chances of survival go down 7 to 10 percent every minute. They'll have to be recertified every two years and many of them look forward to it. Those children become their children. And so all the ones that they ride with them every day, they're very particular about and they would never want anything to happen to them. So they're glad that they would know how to do this. Alex George, First News at Noon.